right? So today I wanted to make um, a what's in my makeup bag type video like this. Love the colors and it's a decent size for like everything. It has a zipper up here, but I have, I don't have anything in here. Yeah, I don't have anything in here. So let's just open it and then I'll show you what is in here. The cool thing about this is that you can literally like go to like, if you're gonna go to a hotel room, which I like, you can hang up like this and then just get all your makeup from there. So it looks like that. And I'll show you guys the products. So the first thing is, guys, I carry like three foundations with me. I carry my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC20, which looks like this. It's just the, you know, the, the thickest foundation that they have. And then I go with my Makeup Forever HD foundation, which is what I'm wearing right now. Now, I like this foundation, but I've had my foundation on since like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so it's not bad for being 12 hours. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised that it lasted this long because normally this doesn't last as long as I want it to, but I like this one because it doesn't break out my skin as opposed to the MAC one. But the MAC one, it just, I can't let go of it. So I carry these two foundations in here. Um, as you guys can see, they're very similar. This one's a little more yellow and this is a little more beige, but you guys get the idea. The next thing I carry oops I just dropped something is a brush set that looks like this the makeup artist like I said I have so many brushes for other people that I wanted a set that was just for me and I have a couple other brushes like I recently got the um, you guys have seen these I'm sure at Mac they are the like weird looking ones I actually got to go to the event where they where the owner not the owner but the maker or creator of these was there like you use these like that um, he gave me their entire brush line, so I've only been carrying a few of them. I don't know where the other one is, but I've been using some of these. And they're really, really fun and exciting to use. And then another product that I have been obsessed with is this, which I actually lost a brush. I don't know where I left it. It's probably somewhere in my room. I have a mess right now because I'm moving stuff around. But it's a brush belt set type thingy. And this is from this is from sexyladyjasmine.com. Um, I'll, I'll link it down below because it's sexyladyjasmine.storeenvy.com. So I'll link it down for you guys. They sell jewelry and a lot of different makeup um, set brushes. This one was $60, so I think it's worth it for $60 because you get several brushes and it comes with a little like um, faux leathery type thing. Um, it seals, it's bright blue, so you don't lose it when bitches be trying to steal your stuff. So you got it. And then you open it like this. And mine are pink brushes. I've never had pink brushes, so I was really excited to have this. These are synthetic brushes, so they if you're not someone who really works with synthetic brushes, then this might be new for you. As you guys can see, I have not used all the brushes, but I've been using definitely all of their foundations, concealer, liner brushes, and their powder brushes. Um, one of these is in my actual makeup kit because I left it in there. I don't know why I put it in there, but I left it in there. Hi, I have a pink nose. You get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 brushes for 60 bucks, guys. That is literally the, one of the best deals that I can see, especially if you're starting out to make up. Totally recommend them, especially if you're like vegan and stuff, that you don't like human hair, then I would recommend these because these are synthetic fiber hairs, but they do pick up quite a bit of product, and I use this to do my makeup today. So I like that, and um, I'll show you guys a really quick kind of close-up so you guys can see what it looks like. Hopefully you guys can see it. You get big powder brushes and your concealer brushes, and you know, you can use these to do eyeshadows like this one is, um, a blender brush, like I said, guys, I haven't used it. I'm gonna use these in a tutorial for you guys soon, but you can use this to kind of create your look. They're not that expensive. I really think they're affordable and they're great to travel. Sorry, I just scratched myself. They're great to travel because you can close it like this, so I can close it, and they have a little flap up here so you won't get your makeup dirty or like you won't get anything in your bag dirty. I have two bronzers in here, which this one I just bought, which will be in my haul. I have these two bronzers and they are both Refined Golden from MAC. Um, is what it's on my cheeks right now, just what I've been using. It looks like this. It's just your typical bronzer. So I carry a bronzer all the time. Then I have my matte uh, little gel thingy from MAC that I recently just bought as well. And then I have a little Ben Nye like container and I put banana powder in there because sometimes I don't want to carry like a humongous Ben Nye banana powder thing. So that's what I've been carrying in there. A liner brush that I can do my eyebrows. And what else is in here? Of course, my brow bar to go from Ben. No, what is this? Whitening lining. I love whitening lining. They are my my people, Jen over there, the owner 
amazing, one of the most amazingly sweet and kind hearted people ever. Love her. And then I have the, the Real Remover from Benefit. I got this at Generation Beauty. I also got the mascara, which, where is the mascara? Oh, here it is. The mascara is the, the bomb. I hated this the first time I ever tried it, but it is the bomb, girl. Look at this shit. Love it. Loves it. Hashtag loves it. But I just a couple last things that I have in here. I have been trying out the concealer from Maybelline to get that like as you guys can see I'm really highlighted right now. I've been using that one. I have the Bare Minerals mascara. I live for mascara guys, literally. And this is a cool wanted mascara. I didn't use this one. Did I use it today? I don't even remember what I used today, but a little mascara just to kill anyone. So I have that one, I have another <laughs> two, two brushes, and um, one of my favorite lip glosses from, once again, Whitening Lightning. This is in um, Nude, I know, right there. and it just gives you that, like, pouty glow. I love this one. And the last two things I have in here are Clear Eyes from, whoever they are, Clear Eyes, just because I wear contacts, so I have to make sure that they're not super red and then my concealer from Ben Night, which I am living for so that's kind of everything that I've been using lately in my like makeup bag so yeah that's what's in here that's like what's in my summer type makeup bag I guess what else have I yeah that's pretty much it and to set my face I use hairspray I know it's a hood trick but yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of like video if you guys like these summer type videos if you guys do make sure you guys click the thumbs up button i don't even think we're allowed to say that anymore i got an email the other day so if you guys enjoyed this video and you do want to click the thumbs up button that's up to click it if you want comment down below and tell me if you guys have any of these products and what are your favorite products like what's in your makeup bag right now i want to know what's in your bag some things like mascara some eyelids just over there. Ooh, ooh. um tell me what's in your guys's bag because that's what i want to know what's in your bag so leave it down below bye everyone